Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to a very special edition of We Good. I'm Brooke Fletcher, joined by, well, today, my arch nemesis, Mr. Devin Gardner. Dev, why, why the long face? This is not my long face. This is my ready-to-compete face. As you guys know at home, Devin and I are very, very competitive. And today we are doing something that we've been wanting to do for a while, a tournament of games for the ultimate bragging rights. Now, to get this started off right, we brought in the big guns, Mr. Matt Shepard, to get this game started. Welcome, everyone, to the first ever We Good, Good Enough Games. This is where we pit frenemies against one another in a series of events using common household items. At the end of the day, only one will be crowned good enough. Let's meet our contestants. In the maize and blue corner, dressed in his Detroit family basketball jersey from years ago, that still manages to fit. Yes, he's living in the past. It's Devin thinks he's an R&B singer gardener. Devin comes in weighing an impressive 230 pounds on a broken scale of Pringles, ice cream cake, and gummy bears. Mm. He's got himself a sweet tooth, then he looks ready to devour his competition. His opposition enters from the red, white, and blue corner, defending her undefeated We Good record. It's Brooke, queen of the extreme, but not high maintenance, Fletcher. Best known for her poise, tumbling, and ability to always, she thinks, outsmart Devin. This queen bee stings, but hey, it's better than scratching and hissing. We start things off with a classic, fast food. Brooke and Devin will compete to see who can consume a lengthy fruit snack in the least amount of time. The catch here is that they may not use their hands to assist. <laughs> a big mouth is needed. Both qualify. Let's just see how this one unravels. This is nice, girl. <laughs> Our next game is Smart Cookie. Don't take it literally, folks. Our contestants must move a cookie from their forehead into their mouth in the least amount of time, using only their facial muscles to do so. This should be sweet. Excuses. You have your AirPod in. I can't hear what you're hearing. Now can you? <laughs> now on to a true crowd pleaser. Spit take is the name of the game. Brooke and Devin will take turns trying to make their opponent laugh using any means necessary. If successful, their opponent will spew whatever beverage they've been sipping on. You know what they say. When it rains, it pours. Dev, what can I do to make... <laughs> Dev. Dev. Have you seen my Grinch face before? Spit it out! Spit it out! <laughs> Dev. 
You're supposed to laugh, Devin. <laughs> hey, do you know Mike Tyson? So Mike Tyson, he got into a fight with this guy, right? And so the guy's eyes swollen a real, real big. Swollen a real big. And so he was he was getting interviewed, and his eye took over the interview. And this we said, the heavyweight champ, he came and he slapped me all over the place. He stepped away. What was going on? Oh, my God. I just said, oh, my God. I can't believe it. Yes! What the heck was that? I gotta clean this up. Yes! Honestly, the joke was not even that funny. I don't know what this was. I don't even that's remember that, the joke. That's I that's just remember you going like. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Our next game is skill build. Our contestants will be blindfolded and tasked with building a balanced tower of 10 cups in the least amount of time. The tower must stand for three seconds, or about the same amount of time Devin stood in the pocket at U of M, before a winner can be named. Let's see how this competition stacks up. Go! Gosh, this is harder than I thought. Okay. This wasn't my night. I still have one more time than Devin on We Good. You know, Wait, like sometimes you just have to like help him out and you know fill his ego a little bit, boost his confidence. There's still one more game. You can, you're um, playing for Friday. To this win. Point. You're playing for Friday at this point. There's one more you game. One more game. Yeah. Let's take this to the floor. Our competitors will each stand and place an empty cup on their forehead. Their mission, should they choose to accept it to find a way to lay down flat against the floor without the cup falling. First to succeed, wins. Let's see who has the right moves. I think you're gonna draw, oh, I see it. I see it wiggle. It looks like you're about to drop it. Hey, Dev. Hey, Dev. Hey, hey, Dev, I'm, I'm talking to you. I have to ask you a question. Hey, did you eat that whole ice cream cake the other day? Yeah. Um, it looks like it's gonna. It looks like it's gonna drop. Hey, Dev, can I tell you about my day? You wanna know what I did today? Well, I'm just gonna tell you anyways. So anyways, I woke up. I went to. Uh, I went and got some breakfast. And I went. I went to my kitchen. I had some coffee. And then I got ready for this. Uh, for this show. And. It looks. <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! Just believe it will happen to you. Just believe one day it will happen to you. It all adds up. One on one make two. Just wow. Just wow.
<laughs> I would like to thank all the young go-getters because we've been working and training pretty hard on that heel, getting our ab work in. And that last game, to really embarrass you in this entire competition, was a lot of ab work. Listen, there will, there will be a rematch. You hear that, Devin? I just want to thank the producers at Fox Sports for giving me this opportunity to absolutely destroy Wood Fletcher. Wood Fletcher. Wood Fletcher. For all of us here at Fox Sports Detroit, I'd like to congratulate Devin Gardner on his impressive win. His first since November 8, 2014 against Northwestern. That's right, you remember it. He clearly proved to be good enough. I'm Matt Shepard. Thanks for watching, everybody. You either want to give it everything or you want to cry about a soul. I'm going to say it from the jump. Mama ain't raise a chump.